Hi, I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com and today I'm going to share with you how to make a stone necklace step by step. So the necklace that I'm going to show you how I made is this turquoise bib necklace. It's kind of a popular style right now and um, I happen to have some turquoise stones so that's what I chose to make. So the first thing that you're going to need is obviously some stones. Uh, you can buy these at a lot of craft stores will carry uh, semi-precious gemstones, but also a lot of the bead shops uh, are a very good source of stones. Um, the other supplies you're going to need are some jump rings. And these are kind of a medium size of a jump ring. And you're going to need some pins with a loop on the end. I refer to these as eye pins, but I'm not sure that you might find them under a, another name, but it's just a straight piece of wire with a little loop on the end. And then you're going to need um, a clasp to uh, close the end of your chain. And then you're going to need some type of chain. Uh, this I bought at the craft store and they usually have a pretty good supply. Uh, there are some stores that actually sell it by the inch, um, but usually uh, at the craft stores you can find a package that has not too much, but more than you need for one necklace anyway. So the, the tools that you're going to need for this project are you're going to need a couple of needle nose pliers. This one just happens to be a bent needle nose, but uh, you can use two straight ones if you have two straight ones. <clears throat> you're going to need some wire cutters and you're going to need uh, the round nose pliers. You can find these sometimes in a kit with a variety of tools included that you would use for jewelry making. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this is a chain of stones that I made. Um, it has five in the center and then it goes to four and then three and then two and then one. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make these chains. So you want to take one of your eye pins and thread it through your stone. And then you want to take, uh, you can take your pliers or a lot of times I just bend it over. You can bend it with pliers if you want. <clears throat> then you take your wire cutters and you, uh, you need to practice a little bit to know exactly where to cut this at. But you give yourself just a little bit of uh, wire there to grab and roll back with your round nose pliers. So take the tip and grab the very end of it and twist it back around and you should get a loop shape like that. And in order to make the next step, you want to hook another little eye pin on there. You gotta leave it open enough to get your pin on there. That one's a little bit too closed. I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. Hook it on there. I can roll it closed. Oops, I ended up rolling it. Over the top of it. There we go. Okay, and if, if, it, uh, if you have a little trouble getting it rolled closed. A lot of times I just take my needle nose pliers and I just pinch it a little bit there. It's not quite as uh, neat and professional looking, but it will close the loop and keep your uh, stone from falling off. So then you just take another stone and you're going to do exactly the same thing. Bend that over, cut it off with your wire clippers, and then grab your round nose pliers and make yourself a loop. Now this one I'm just going to close all the way because I'm going to pretend that this is the very top of my two stone piece like this two stone piece right there. Then I'm going to take a jump ring and you always open your jump rings. You can hold it uh, if it's big enough, you can use your fingers, but these little ones, you need to use the two pliers. And you're going to twist. You're always going to twist your hands like that to open it. And then loop it through your 
hole there. And then to attach it to the chain, you just put your little uh, jump ring through the chain and then grab it the same way with your needle nose pliers and twist it back the opposite direction. If you open a jump ring like this, you'll never get it closed back in the correct form. So that is how you attach it to your chain. So as I said, I have uh, five stones right here. And then for this necklace, I went about five chain lengths for between each row of stones. And depending on the size of stones you use, and the size of the chain link that you use, you may come up, uh, if it's larger chain links, you might want to do three chain links. And if it's smaller, you might want to do six or eight chain links. But that's a decision that you can make when you're making your necklace. And then to add the clasp on the back of it, you just are going to take a jump ring find the little opening there. Take my tweezers, or my pliers, excuse me, twist it. Then I'm gonna go through the end of my chain and through the end of my closure there. Twist it back. And that is how you add the closure on the back of your chain. And that is the step-by-step -step instructions for creating this stone bib necklace. I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com. Have a great day.